fiddlesticks. Things are in my way. Hi, everybody. Hello. Welcome back to my channel. I mean, my hair looks a mess. Don't even. Shh. You're on a different channel. Make sure you subscribe. I know you probably got recommended this. Maybe yes, maybe no, maybe so. I'm overweight and I don't know why. Oh my god. Um, hi, it's so good to see you again on this channel. I don't post here all the time. I post here maybe once a week, twice a week, maybe once a month. You never know, here I am. Very happy to see you again. This is not my daily channel, but I do eat daily, so okay. I actually just got done doing a mukbang not too long ago and I'm still hungry. Click the link down below to follow my cameo where I will make a special video just for you. We can also message each other too. Link below. This camera needs to come up a little bit higher. I feel like I'm being, being cut off, honey. So, today we are doing Chick-fil-A as my body like almost dies. <laughs> okay, so I got some french fries. That's it. Did my driver eat some? What the? Ugh. Cheeseburgers. Ooh, I did get a lot of sandwiches because I love sandwiches here. We got a mac and cheese. Ooh, still hot and steamy. We love Chick-fil-A. So delicious, so tasty. Great customer service. Remember that one time I flipped out and remember they refunded me all the money? I was very happy. Great time. Oh. Oh, yes. Okay. I was like, where is all this food coming from? That's right. I ordered 30 chicken nuggets, which I always do. It's my staple. And I got, I love how they're not stingy with the sauces. They will give you, not as many as you want, but they'll give you a lot. So I got my classic um, chicken wrap, which is delicious. Always perfect, just perfectly made. And you get to choose from one, I sometimes get two dressings. Oops, this kind of started tearing. The creamy salsa is great, and the avocado ranch. And then what's in here? This is all sauces. A lot of sauce, and you know, that's, that's the wonderful Chick-fil-A display of all the sauces, you get all the flavors. And, um, yeah, so Dave, oh, oh, do you have to wash that? Oh, Orland's back. He's risen from the dead. Thank you. How does it feel to be alive? You guys, I'm really out of breath. Oh, thank you. Oh, we got, oh, we got water from the ghost, Orlin. Boo. You guys, actually, I am, in real life, not trolling, I am having, like, a weird leg, a, a leg cramp over here on my left leg. I am healthy, I swear. I went on the treadmill for 30 minutes today. Here, let's cheers to everybody. Oh, Orly, can you come back? So there's ice cubes in here, and we just go like this. What's wrong now? Can you um pull the camera up? The stand, the, just rise it, raise it. Rise it, rise it like you riz, rise it, risen. There? Rise it like you did. There? Orland is risen. Come is higher. There? A little higher. Um, perfect. Is that good? The stand has risen. Is that good? It's perfect, honey. Cheers to that, the rising stand. Actually, um, slightly lower. <laughs> I'm too fat to get up. It's a problem. A little bit more. There? A little bit more. Stop. Perfect. <laughs> Is this not food? This should be not food. It's Cheers! Enough food to get someone as big as you want to get. I'm actually very skinny. Click the link down below. Get my merch. It's just water weight merch. I'm getting like one shirt a day sale. It's pretty amazing. I mean, just people are actively wearing it around town. I'm like, I want to run into someone on the streets that says it's just water weight. I'm like, ah, that's my slogan. <laughs> Yeah, I am feeling very weird, like compre like I don't know what it is, but my left leg. It's always my left leg. Ugh. Anyways, let's make this all pretty. One, two, three. Bam! You guys, look at this. Look at this deliciousness. This looks really good. I mean, Chick Fil A always looks amazing and wonderful. And so we're gonna take a little bit of ranch, and we're gonna pour it on this spicy chicken sandwich with Colby Jack cheese. Deliciousness. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Check that on your face? Mmm, mmm. 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 Perfect. 
And we're gonna do a little bit more ranch. Just a little bit. Just a little, 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 a little. Ooh. Ooh, it's dripping. Here we go. That's spicy. Mmm. I can't get enough of this. Mmm. Can't, can't get enough. Mmm. Cheers to this. They always give you free waters at Chick-fil-A, which I love. Cheers, everybody. Did I get it on my Walmart shirt? I didn't get it on my Walmart shirt. Yay! I'm gonna take some um, vitamins so that I'm extra healthy. So this here is Krill. I'm gonna take two Krills for them. Extra, 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 extra healthy. Mm. Costco Krills. They taste sweet. I don't know why. That's just what I like to take. I don't know what you do. Thank you. Oh, this is for my mac and cheese. You're not this bad at Chick Fil A. We took out a lot of things. I know, and I already took the driver like twenty dollars. Okay, here we go. Mm -mm -mm. Whose fault is it? Chick Fil A should have had it in the bag, but the driver should have checked if they wanted a good tip. Today, I know this was a couple of days ago, but I never said anything on YouTube. I mentioned it on my Instagram very briefly. I also mentioned it on my Patreon, but that's a lot you guys don't talk. I won't go into detail, but a couple of days ago, there's the vice president presidential debate between Kamala Harris and Mike Pence. And I gotta say, <clears throat> It was much more enjoyable than the main presidential debate. You could follow along. They both had a lot more substance. They're also very good speakers, both of them. I don't care. Ooh, I don't care what you believe in about trade, about how to have handled the the Bud Light issue, about what else do they talk about each other's records. Mm. Regardless of that. I think they were great. Um, I think they were both good speakers. And they also were both very with it. I felt that um, <clears throat> a lot of people love Joe Biden, a lot of people love Donald Trump, but I mean, obviously, Joe Biden's old. Mm. And obviously Trump doesn't have much political experience. He's a you know, businessman. Click the link down below to follow my Patreon for mukbangs and drama not allowed on YouTube. Must be age 18 or older, link below. So maybe their language won't be as poised. I mean, Kamala Harris and Mike Pence both sound, I mean, <clears throat> whether you agreed with what came out of their mouth or not, they both sounded well rehearsed, well practiced, and it just made sense. They dodged questions, both of them. I remember Kamala did not answer a few things. And I know that Mike Pence didn't answer a few things either. Both of them, didn't it? And this is what happens in politics. And you're like, well, I'll use this time to go back to the last question to, you know, talk about that a little bit more. Oh, my time's up. I guess someone will answer this question. It's very sneaky. Both of them did not. But that's what politicians do. But people are asking me, I'm like, oh, I never really told anyone on YouTube what I thought of it. Well, that's what I thought. I thought it was, I think I walked away at the end of it thinking like, well, mm, I love cheese. Yep, that's what I thought after watching the, the debate. I love cheese. So protect our farmers. 
Mmm. Mmm. We really don't want to be a nation that depends too much on food grown or raised outside of this country. We don't. Mm, 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 mm. Let's try these French fries. I don't even like fries, but they're um, they are good today. Mmm, spicy. What do you guys think? <clears throat> I mean, I'll be honest. I. I remember thinking, like, <sighs> well, actually, no, let's not get into it. Never mind. I was just thinking it was an actual civil debate. And then, eight, maybe the bar is set so dang low now that's like, we're all shocked and plies, surprised by, like, decency and communication. Um, That's just what it is. But I think Mike Pence did a very good job. And I think Kamala Harris did a very good job. <clears throat> Cheers to that. I think I would get so nervous. But you know what I thought of way too? I would love to be a moderate moderator. Wouldn't you guys like to see me moderate one of these things? Kama, please explain why there's so many people in jail who smoke weed. <clears throat> well, she was carrying out the law. I, I answered the question. I don't know. Mike Pence, can you please explain why you have funded, you know, anti-LGBT people and, you know, support? I answered the question. <laughs> answer the question. I would have been like, shh. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Shh. I'm calling corporate. Shh. I'm speaking. Answer the what? Uh, what part of? Answer the question. Did you not? Hey Siri. Hey Siri. He is not answering. Hey Siri. Shh. You piece of crap. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Answer the question. Don't interrupt. Who do you think you are? I am the moderator. Sit down. Sit down. You're already seated. Put your head down till I call on you. I'm the moderator, not you. <laughs> I'm calling corporate on all your people. Shh. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse you. I am speaking. <laughs> I would have done stuff like that if I was the moderator. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Fiddle sticks. That's how I would have run my debate as a moderator. Like when someone says your time is up, wrap it up. That doesn't mean talk for another 60 seconds. I know politicians are going to do it. It's up to the moderator to be forceful and say your, your time is over. Psst. Off with your head. <laughs> it's up to, to the moderator. While I love that the debate, the debate was much more civil, I wish that moderator lady, I, um, I wish she would have been more um, stern. She was very, like, careful, like, but you know what? I think they really bounced off of her energy, both of them. I think that's why it also stayed respectful. For the most part. I mean, obviously little jabs here and there, but it wasn't like, you know, flipping tables type of thing. I think they both really fed off her quiet, very um, old-fashioned. I think they kind of fed off that energy. Like, this is orderly. Mmm. Have a bite. Have a bite. Mmm. 
Is this too dark? I feel like you can't even see my face. But if I get up and turn the brightness up, let's do that. <clears throat> Here we go. What did you guys think? I should have talked about this yesterday, but oh well. Anyways. Look at these gooey french fries. Ooh. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse you. <sighs> Let's do this one. This one looks glorious. So how are you guys doing, everybody? How are you today? How are you today? That's what I say. Don't fall over. Thank you. Look at this glorious. If that's not pepper, that's pepper jack. Oh, did I get pepper? I guess I did. I like Colby Jack. Was that first one? Pe yeah, it was pepper jack. Okay. <clears throat> Cheers. Chick-fil-A. Cheers. Chick-fil-A. Cheers. It's great. It's so good. Speaking of food, I would love to know what do these people eat before they go out on stage to debate somebody? I mean, you're going to want to eat something that powers your brain, doesn't give you the shakes, doesn't give you brain fog. Maybe some people, it's their practice not to eat at all. That was my most difficult thing. When I was doing live performance or auditions on the violin or even public, well, my public speaking thing wasn't a career. Well, I guess violin really wasn't either. I tried. <laughs> but I found it difficult trying to find a balance of feeling full, feeling fueled, but also um, not feeling tired from having to digest it and having to plan it accordingly so that like I'm getting the energy but not too close to the debate or excuse me or the performance but not like right beforehand and even when I was vegan I had such a big problem because you're always digesting all that food when you're a vegan you have to eat so much can't relate eating so much I don't know that's like <laughs> You know what I mean. Maybe you don't. <laughs> um, I guess I still have trouble with that. And now I have hypoglycemia that, you know, was bad when I was vegan, was bad when I'm doing mukbangs. Just bad, bad, bad. I would have asked a question to the mo as a moderator to Trump and Biden too. Did you eat too much over here? Did you eat not enough? <laughs> no, you're just, you're just, you know, being respectful. Listen, I wanna know what did these people choose to eat before the debate? That would be a great question. What did you eat and what did you eat after to celebrate that it was over? Did you get some Chick-fil-A, did you get a pint of ice cream? Mm. Older people, too, they tend to eat way less. So I'm curious, do they snack? Do, I'm, I'm just very interested. Mm -mm. Chick-fil-A has outstanding barbecue. Outstanding. Mm -hmm. 
outstanding barbecue. Mmm. Mmm. Very nice. Wait, was that barbecue? No, that no, that wasn't barbecue. The barbecue's right here. Wait a minute. What on earth was and what? Oh, maybe that was. I don't know. What was this? I think. Or is this barbecue? No, that's honey mustard. Mm. How are you today? How are you today? That's what I say. Anyways. Ah. Uh, Somebody made a video about me the other day. I haven't had a chance to watch it. But I love when people make videos about me because it keeps interest in my channel. I love it. Love, love, love. I'm actually very appreciative of that type of thing. Not ripping off my content and just re-uploading it with some words over it. That's not what I appreciate. <laughs> but I appreciate people sharing their opinion, talking about discussing it, <clears throat> using minimal content to get their point across. You know love it totally here for it yeah we just struck down another channel yesterday came in like a wrecking ball that's what you get i'm very proud of it you know you should never feel entitled to someone else's work don't feel proud about stealing from somebody and that's what happens to like these <clears throat> tea channels and stuff I feel a little bad too. <clears throat> At the end of the day, it's not my fault, but I do feel slightly bad that I helped instill <clears throat> misinformation into people well, two or three years ago. Two years ago. You guys were around for that. There's a channel called Shook Bang that would add words over top of people's material. And to me, in my ignorant mind that would just Google and think I was a lawyer because I could Google something, I defended that. And now, after speaking to actual attorneys, IP uh, lawyers, and paying tens of thousands of dollars to handle lots of different matters. I'm like, oh my God, that was the most illegal thing in the world. It's just done a lot on the internet. Doesn't mean it's right. It's like speeding. Everyone speeds. If you if you get pulled over go for going five, six miles above the speed limit, you can't tell the cop, well, she did it too. If you're caught, you're caught, you know. <clears throat> that shook bang thing was not right, actually. And I felt, I learned, I mean, it, it, it's not even um, up to me to be a teacher. It's really not. At the end of the day, and you, ignorance is not, you know, it's not a um, defense. Oh, well, she did it. He did it. But yeah, it's like, that was actually... I still think that, remember, with that whole thing, I think, I, I, I actually doubt that Veronica actually called a lawyer to talk about it, because she would have brought more up in detail, or she wouldn't have bothered retracting it. She would have been like, oh, no, 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 no. I stand firm in this decision, because I actually talked to someone. But she didn't. She, she kind of cowered and was like, okay, I'll release, this. I'll release the claim. It's like, okay, that tells me that you really didn't talk to someone. Because if you did, they would have said, don't you dare. <laughs> so, um, I think she was bluffing with that. But, you know, had she actually talked to someone, she would have learned that too. I think a lot of people don't, uh, they're not willing to spend thousands of dollars to talk to people. Ask them questions. I sent two emails to an attorney the other day. She char I mean, I love her, but... She charged me two hundred fifty dollars to read each email, and she says, "Well, I had to, you know, do. I had to like twenty minutes was looking at different little things on the side, like researching my answer and response to you. And you know, if they're charging four hundred dollars an hour, divide up each minute. Why are they making a minute? Hey Siri, it doesn't matter. It's a lot of money. Oh, I was talking for two questions. But yeah, um, that's 
the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. And you know, a part of me feels a little bad because I think people think it's okay because I said it's okay. But I'm not the law, I'm just a YouTuber. I, I can say whatever I want, that's freedom of speech. It's up to you to be responsible for you. But yeah, I do feel I feel a little bad that some people think it's okay because of what I used to say with that sugar bank thing. Like, they were right. How dare you? Well, I'm not a lawyer, so use your brain too. You know, I might not have the best brain, but don't rely on me. Why would you do such a thing? <clears throat> and it's funny because PewDiePie made a video also like kind of back in all the people up saying that was okay. But PewDiePie never even saw the original videos, I'm sure. He kind of just piled onto it. And then it just it just spreads misinformation. <sighs> I'm getting so fat. This is my third sandwich. But it tastes so good. Oops. Mmm. I got it on my Walmart shirt. Mmm. Oh my god, I got all over this Walmart shirt. Okay, be that way. Anyways, everybody. What else do I feel like talking about? Nothing, really. We don't need to talk about my weight for the million millionth time, even though I bring it up every day. <laughs> mm. So Halloween is coming up. Are people actually doing it with the you-know-what in the air? I have a feeling they're not. I think some will. I think actually many will. I mean, a mask is, like, an actual mask is going to prevent some stuff, but probably, I don't know. Again, I'm not a reliable source of information, so don't come to me for information. Come to me to be entertained. Thank you. <clears throat> but, I mean, I wouldn't thought, but also I'm not a child. I feel bad for the kids who can't do the stuff they want to do as much, or in the way that they're used to. Like adults, you would think, can comprehend and kind of make the little sacrifice of doing things as you please. But the kids are the hardest to really understand. And the elderly who don't know what's happening. One of my grandparents are in the, um, like a nursing home type of, yeah, an assisted living uh, nursing place where they take care of you. And he has no idea why he's not allowed to leave. And the poor, I feel so bad because it's like, how do you explain to someone whose mind's kind of leaving? You know, you're not in trouble. You just can't leave this room for five, six, seven, nine months. You're just not allowed to leave. You can't talk to anyone anymore. Stay in this room. It's almost like these are elderly prisons. <clears throat> and they're still contracting it anyway. That's real. I mean, that. Ooh, could you imagine? Or what if you were just there because you needed help, but your mind wasn't gone, so you felt the misery of really not knowing why you can't. Well, you knew why you can't leave, and it just, you felt trapped. Um, anyways, happy Halloween. I might be Dracula. Maybe I'll do a little video with my Dra- I'll accentuate my McDonald's logo. I'll be the Dracula guy. But I've been that for Halloween so many years. In real life, not through YouTube. One year for Halloween, I made a video in Colombia about Halloween trick-or-treat candy taste testing with Orlin. And we had Mr. Noodle there. And I don't know if you remember my talking parrot, but he had the creepiest laugh ever. My son. My son, Mr. Noodle. Our son. Me and Orlin's son. 
or they used to call, like if Orin was out getting groceries and I was home alone, he'd be like, how's, how's my son? How's our son? What's our son doing? Kind of cute. I miss that. I miss that bird so much. Oh, Mr. Noodle. Anyways, I did a little, uh, I don't want to say skip, but I did a little creepy thing going up the stairs and looking all creepy with a knife and trying to do a little something spooky for Halloween. Like I got possessed and I was going after Orlin. <laughs> <laughs> Which is very believable after all the crap I eat, my mind's going crazy. Ooh. But Mr. Noodle was featured in that video with his <laughs> People say like if you started doing that in the middle of the night, they'd be so spooked. Which you would be if you started doing it in the middle of the night. <clears throat> Excuse me. Very spooky laugh. Very spooky. Spooky. Oh, what's her name? Libby Higgins. I was on her Instagram the other day and she was doing something like, Spooky! Oh, it's spooky! Oh, spooky! How spooky! Oh, that's probably why I'm saying it. Sometimes... My waters! It flew back... It flew... It just evaporated. That's how fast it went. Ugh! Turned to dust. Sometimes when you watch a lot of stuff, you start repeating what you hear. Where did I start saying, um, fiddlesticks? I kind of just came up with that. I don't even know. A lot of my extra expressions I make up, but then maybe I'm saying spooky because I just watched her. It was very cute in the car. I think she's, st she's starting, um, making videos now. Do you know who I'm talking about? Ch Chelsea Lynn's friend. I don't know if she's, like, a YouTuber, though. Ugh, my stomach. Ah, uh, I'm so full. And I have, like, a goober in this eye. Wow, this was good. Chick-fil-A always hits the spot in a nice way. Very nice. Very good. Let's do one more french fry, even though, oh, that's, okay. There's one out here. Oops. Everything with me is oops, ups, oops, oops, ups. Spicy. Spicy. I miss all my pets, to be honest with you. I miss all of them. Mr. Noodle, Roberto, Miss Kitty. But it's for the better that I don't have pets. I'm not the most responsible person. And it's a good thing I realized this now, then just kept them, but not. It's not like I, not, like I didn't feed them or neglect them. Also, when I made these decisions, I was traveling every couple of months. Traveling here, traveling here, traveling here. You know, three months in my parents' house, two, two months in Canada, you know, four weeks in Las Vegas, three, three weeks in LA, come back to Florida for a month, go back to, I mean, I was just, it's a good thing I realized I'm not a pet person for that reason. I love pets. I miss Mr. Noodle. I miss Miss Kitty. I loved Kiwi. You know, I loved Roberto. I loved, I even loved Orland's fish. In a weird way. They kind of like came to, they're like, gloop, 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 gloop. And we had to sell and get rid of all of our pets. All of them. Ooh. Wow. I'm going to get going. Last bite. Here we go. Here we go. One day I think I might re reunite with Mr. Noodle. If I ever go back to Columbia, I'm doing a reunion with Ramen, and he will be so happy. Orlin says that parents never forget, <clears throat> so he'll know. He will know. No, I'm really sad. Let's not let's talk about Mr. No. Oh, my baby. <clears throat> Thank you for watching. I'm going to say goodbye. I really have nothing else to say. Talked about a little things here and there. This was very good. Chick-fil-A always hits the spot, like I said. Goodbye. Thank you for watching my little mukbang. It's like 3 in the morning. I'm like, I want to film. So, no, what time is it? It's not 3. This is all. Okay, it just turned midnight. It feels like 3. But I appreciate...
Why can't you microwave? Do they have little pieces of like aluminum in here? Why does it say do not microwave? I don't wonder why. Thank you for your time. I really appreciate it. And I will see you for another video on this channel soon. soon. So make sure you subscribe and make sure you book a cameo from me. I love making personal videos for you. Wow, my body's rejected. I'm not rejecting. It's just hiccups. <clears throat> I love making personal videos for you guys. Um, I make one at least every day to somebody. A lot of them are private, but a lot, I'd say maybe 20%, 18, 25% of them are public. That you can see on my cameo page. So click the link down below and check it out and see if you would like a cameo for you or someone that you're friends with or your boyfriend or girlfriend that likes the channel. And they're a minimum of five minutes each, so I make them very detailed. It ain't no just random shout out that all the other people do. They are personalized videos for a minimum of five minutes. Usually they're about six, seven minutes, sometimes five, maybe four minutes and 99 seconds. Oh wait, it's 59 seconds. <laughs> they're about five minutes. <clears throat> but yeah, I try my best and I have a great time doing them. So check it out to see if you're interested. Link down below, and we can connect that way privately. And if not, I'll see you on YouTube for another video tomorrow. So make sure you subscribe to this channel too. Okay, bye. Thank you for listening to me be a crazy person. I hope no one comes for me about my whole leg. I thought my pence was good. I thought Kamala Harris was, why can't I say both were good in their own ways? And why can't I both say both didn't answer questions? I'm not getting political by acknowledging that. Okay, I'm not. People, every time I'm like, I don't talk about politics, and I mention things about politics, people are like, and then he proceeds to talk about politics. That's not politics. You know, my four-year-old sister, I don't have a four-year-old sister, but, you know, my, you know, hypothetical, my 10-year-old brother, who doesn't know the first thing about politics, could say, oh, yeah, they both talked nicely. They waited each other's turn, for the most part. And, um, um, they didn't answer the questions. I mean, when you're a kid in school, the teacher says, what do you think of this? And if you start talking about something else or the per last person's last question, you're gonna look like an idiot. So, you know, that ain't politics. That's just kind of obser basic observation. Answer the questions first, and then you can go on a tangent if you wish. But to me, that is, that is, That's just paramount, especially to people who are watching these debates who aren't political. They're trying to understand who they want to vote for. You have to make, like Einstein said, make it stupid. It, no, oh, they said simpler is smarter. The smartest people make things the simplest ways. That is clearly understood. You can go into tangents and philosophical and, you know, sophisticated language and da 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 da. But if you leave people confused, you didn't do your job. Answer the question. <clears throat> I should be a commentator. <clears throat> and I should also be a moderator and say, shh, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, I'm not speaking to you. Silencio. <laughs> I would be one heck of a moderator. I think people would like it. Okay, goodbye. Bye. A big thank you to my patrons for supporting this video and my executive producers, Zen, Dr. Captain, La La Baby, and Alizi Yeezy. <laughs> for more mukbangs and other content not allowed on YouTube, join my community over on Patreon. Must be age 18 or older. And for something more personal, get a video from me directly on Cameo, where we can also DM each other and chat one-on-one. -on -one. So if you want to see more content, come follow my Patreon. But if you just want to talk to me, talk to me through Cameo. Links to both are down below. Thank you so much. Bye.